Ed Focal's stock price jump up some 89.5% for last week. That's almost 90% to close out at some two dollars and fifty four cents. Alright, so in other video yeah, we wanna know what really a drive Ed Focal stock price. Is it market sentiment or is it that the fundamental of the company has changed? Alright, so we want to look upon what the, the, the message of management are put out into the market and how that might affect the stock price. Seeing that we also want to go down to some of the financials to look on whether or not any focus is fundamental has changed. You get me? And to see if this price justifies or to see if any focus operation justifies the price at which Eddie Focal is selling. Alright, so you know we're not too like look upon the stock price of such. We like look upon the value of the company overall. So overall the company is selling at some $1.6 billion. Alright, so that gives us a better perspective of the stock. You get me I say? That gives us a better perspective of the stock. $1.6 billion. How is that looking? Eddie Focal makes some $65 million over the last six months so is is the price justified by by those earnings micro get tonight micro get tonight all right um now on the 18th of october 2022 we see where management put out a notice in the market to say that they will be considering a rights issue all right on on the 19th so management all a meeting the 19th that was the thursday last thursday to consider a rights issue all right so for those of you who might not know a rights issue simple means uh, management uh, come back into the market and uh, they're going to pick up some more money all right they're going to sell off some more of the company to pick up some more money however the money where they're going to take up from the market are going to come from the present shareholders all right so that is what a rights issue is the money to come from the present shareholders so the present shareholders are going to get the first right of refusal that mean at them first i go put money in the company and when them can't put no more money in the company maybe management take the money from other people all right so that's how them come out of the market the 18 and said them i will consider a rights issue on the 19th all right, the more all are meeting on the 19th for consider whether or not the company for do a rights issue. What we are said though is that Eddie Focal's needs cash. This has been one of Eddie Focal's problems. The main problem with Eddie Focal have, all right, is cash. The foremost, all right, problem with the co we see the company have. All right, we know the company need to expand, we know the company need to sell the service and all these things, but we are figure say. If the company run out of cash before it is able to convince people to use the service in a magnitude we can sustain the company then we are saying maybe the company even crash before that you get me i say before they they are able to convince people that the service is needed all right so cash is has always been one of edifocals our edifocals biggest problem um based upon what we say and that is the reason why we are going to look to see if the company still have the cash flow problem there and how desperate the company is for cash all right so Eddie Focal coming to market now wanting cash is not a surprise to blue color finance because we just suspect this all right so what was to happen is that when the company put out this in the market the day after this we see the stock price run up almost close out some 20 percent higher you get me i say the meeting was held on the 19th that was a thing the thursday all right the meeting was held however management hit the market with added sentiment our news where would i drive up the stock price even more all right so according to management and this came out on the october the 20th all right management has said 
them did hold the meeting, but them never conclude anything. So them never decide whether or not them are going to do a rights issue. Alright? Now, them said, them need to continue the discussion. And now they are talking about a renounceable rights issue. Alright? That is the type of rights issue where most companies normally issue in Jamaica anyways. That is, if the present shareholders them not have the money for buy the stock then or to put in the business, should say, then them allow other people to to pick up the slot. You get me? So management claims say them are going to hold another meeting on the 27th of October 2023 for continue the discussion. However, here all management sweeten up the pot now. Management said them are also consider a stock split in the meeting to be held on the 27th of October 2023. Alright, so two things here so now that drives market sentiment. When I talk about renounceable rights issue, a lot of people will see that as something with a push up the stock price. I will see where the stock price move on that announcement. And on the 28th management put out the news uh, the stock split. They will consider splitting the stock also. Alright, again, something that will push up the stock price. And uh, we'll see where the stock price move again. Alright, so Friday, the stock price move like crazy. Alright, and this is how the company actually traded. You can see the massive movements in the stock price. Given those announcements by Eddie Focal's management team. Now, we know Eddie Focal's management team still. We know say, our people will always drive, look for drive the stock price based on these types of things. You know what I mean? So, you have to give them credit for that. Because that's what they do. Just the other day, we dropped a video about Eddie Focal and... One of my subscribers say, look like Eddie Focal change and start playing the long term game. They get me, I say. But I may say, yeah, it look like them, them start do the long term thing and them come out of the market and not talk too much in the market like how we know them do. But lo and behold, ear management go again. Bugger talking, bugger. Um, Management continue to drop ideas in the market where they know say I go drive people or investors push investors into wanting to purchase a stock. All right, I was aware that is really driving investors currently as I speak. So that a lot, but here we are going. We know any focal have the cash flow problem, so we want the one just comes a boom. Look at Eddie Focal from the perspective that to see if anything fundamental has changed about the company as it relates to cash flow. Alright. And that can give you an idea of whether or not the price here with Eddie Focal has sell at currently $2.54 is just. So remember the last time we valued Eddie Focal, I think the first time we valued Eddie Focal, we valued Eddie Focal at some $2.50, $2.30, somewhere there about. But those valuation was using management's projection. You get me, I say? And we I say if management projection can hold, then the $2.50 is a just price. However, we see where the company wasn't... Um, standing up to management projection and as a result we downgraded the company you get me i said at the time the company i make some two million dollar in the first quarter nine million dollar in the second quarter and then a 27 million dollar loss and we i say yo this not look like management projection right or the company is able to keep up to management projection however we so we are the revenues, not the revenue, yeah, the revenue and also the earnings has changed somewhat. You get me, I said, because now Eddie Focal is returning some $42 million in the first quarter, $23 million in the second quarter, all right? So, it's not a bad look for Eddie Focal. 
even though there's still some amount of volatility in the in the earnings but earnings pick up and that then management said the more streamline the business and start focus on edifocal africa and edifocal usa and them drop off the edifocal academic with them of so it's a thing where we are looking at but we could get to the cash flow of edifocal to see what has changed all right now what we know is that edifocal actually almost run out of cash sometime last year you get me i say but there was mayberry to the rescue all right and mayberry true edifocal a lifeline of some 200 million dollar all right now <clears throat> This is what saved Edifocal. It was on September 27, 2022. Edifocal got $200 million from Mayberry. All right. And the company decides uh, this is how they're going to spend the $200 million. All right. <clears throat> According to Edifocal, they're going to refinance a debt with them off. And they're going to use the money for expansion. Also, they're going to pay off some related party debt. So them have two debts where they want to deal with. They want to pay off some related party debt. They want to refinance a debt. They have a short term debt that was coming due. They want to pay that off. But we believe that mostly Edifocal wanted working capital. All right. I will see where Edifocal will come back to the market. No one would think that Edifocal still need working capital. So this might be a time of... of a do or die time for Edifocal right now. Either them are going to make it or them are going to die now. Mayberry gave Edifocal that $200 million at 9.5%. So given the type, given where inflation is now, given where interest rate is now, I think them get this at bargain price. All right, so that was a good look. One of the things we like about this is that come 2024, management claims uh, it's a fixed rate bond, but they're going to make it a variable rate come 2024. All right, so if interest rate come back down, Edifocal will get some ease from from moving from a fixed rate to a variable rate so that is something that is in edifocal favor if interest rate come down now if inflation continues and interest and and the central banks are forced to increase interest rate going forward then that might be against them but the the odds are that interest rate are gonna come down 2024 so this is something good for edifocal all right all right, so I could get in a in a day. All right, this are the cash flow for September twenty, um, September thirty, twenty twenty two. This is three days after Eddie Focal got the loan from Mayberry. All right, because Eddie Focal was trapped for cash, as we always say. So I could see how Eddie Focal spend the money there, cause you hear what them say them all do with the money. I could see how them spend the money. And I could see if them have more money and how much money they might generate from um, them operation. All right. So as I can see upon the cash flow, here is the money where them get from Mayberry, the $200 million. All right. That is money coming into the business. Then let's see where a short term loan was repaid of $82 million. All right. So the Mayberry loan is for seven years. Mayberry loan is for seven years and them use that to refinance a short-term loan. So there was a short-term loan coming due of $82 million. Edifocal take out a long-term loan to repay a short-term loan. So it's almost like Edifocal a kick the can down the road, as them would have said. All right, so it needs more breathing space, more financial space to work. So this what Mayberry did for Edifocal came in at the right time. All right, and it's a good thing. So them repay some eighty two million dollar with the loan. All right. However, Edifocal in the same year take out some or the same quarter take out some twenty two twenty five million dollar from 
related party. All right, and you can see where the IPO money came in handy. All right, so I could look upon the amount of money Edifocal was generating from its operation. Here we see where Edifocal was making a loss of six dollars. This are the last quarter, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 um, Q4 this. $60 million loss Edifocal make out of the operation as it relates to the, to the amount of cash with the company uh, um, a colic. Alright. The company was losing some $87 million in cash. That is cash where I go out of the business. Cash where the company are burned just because the company is operating. Alright, $87 million. Alright, the company did say more use some of the cash for expansion purposes and it seems like Edifocal did that because we see where Edifocal acquired some intangible asset computer software for $81 million. Alright, so here we get an idea of how Edifocal is burning cash, how quick the company is burning cash. The company collects some $207, $200 million from Mayberry it still have to get some leverage from due um related party some 25 million dollar all right the company burn up some 87 million dollar due to its operation we see where the company used some of the money to buy some computer software some 81 million dollar worth of computer software and the company repay some short-term loan of 80 two million dollar now as a result of that the company is left with some 96 million dollar at the end of september 2022 all right 96 million dollar any focal up on the balance sheet this means the company can continue to operate even at at, at a loss all right so i'm going to see what really go on with any focal going forward here now is December 31st, 2022. All right, we just look at September 2022. We are at December 2022, and this is a year end result. All right, so this is a year end result. What more I draw your attention to is the fact that Eddie Focal was burning some $101 million in a cash from operation. So when the company set up the business and operate, money was going out of the company. All right, more than how money is coming in. All right, again, what I forget to mention, this is due to the fact that the company now collect any, um, the receivable continues to grow. So the company is doing business, but not collecting any money. This is the nature of Edifocal. And as a result of that, we, we are seeing from afar, I say, cash flow will be the company's problem. You get me, I say? Now, for the year, the company will lose some $178 million. So it's a loss making company at this point. As it relates to cash, the company was losing some $101 million in cash. We see where the company made the purchase of the software of $86 million. We see where $202 million came onto the, um, the company. That's money coming in. That's a loan that the company got. All right, we see some directors loan, some related party loan, and all these things. All right. All right, so here now by December 2022, the company had those $3 million on its cash, on its, on, on its book as cash. Remember, you know, September, the company ended with $96 million. And by December, the company have just $3 million. All of the money gone. All right. And that is coming from operation. The company was expanding. Yeah. The company buy some software. Understand that. But that was facilitated by the money where Mayberry lend them. But them still are burned cash. All right. So I could jump over to the first quarter of 2023. Still on the cash flow statement because we want so I'll go on for the cash flow statement. All right. All right. So the company continues to service. The company has been servicing Mayberry's um loan. Interest and principal is being paid. So everything good there. So 
um, short term loan the company got some short term loan here of three million dollar again the company is getting money from related party that is very important Mayberry, um, I mean Eddie Focal continues to get money from related party and that is what is keeping up the company all right that is what is keeping up the company he was so weird the company bought some assets here of um for eight million dollar that's intangible asset that's software um and they will continuously invest in the software all right eight million dollar worth of interest is paid one thing that we like is if you look at the 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 money coming from coming in from operation this is where there is a change in fortune of edifocal's operation so for the first time we are seeing a positive cash inflow coming in from operation uh, if i go up here so this is the reason for it the company made some 42 million dollar in earnings all right 42 million dollar in earnings and as a result of that the company is seeing some positive cash flow coming into the business also if you look at the receivable the receivable increased just by seven a 17 million dollar not like the massive increase that we normally see so here now the company making some money and collecting all right making some profit and collecting on the receivables is the reason why the company was able to generate some 30 million dollar 31 million dollar in the first quarter all right so as a result of that the company is left with some 21 million dollar at the end of the first quarter so this sounds like something good for edifocal edifocal actually generated cash from its operation for the first time real cash all right so the company stuck up with 21 million dollar and uh, yeah it borrowed it borrowed three million dollar from in short term it, it gets some related party loan four million dollar however most of the 21 million dollar is really money that the company generate from its operation so that's a good look all right that's a good look now if we jump over to the last quarter now the quarter ending june we want to say we're for the six month the company made some 40 65 million dollar last month the com last quarter the company made 45 million dollar all right now the company is making some 65 million dollar for the entire six months so for the last three months the company made some 20 23 million dollar in profit all right so about 23 million dollar in profit all right a 65 million dollar overall um receivables increase some 86 um 84 million dollar so this is crazy all right 86 million 84 million dollar receivable increase the company need to get at those receivables but the company is showing some positive signs of 23 million dollar come um cash coming in from its operation all right so this is a second straight quarter that um edifocal is seeing cash from its operation yeah, second quarter no cash from the operation that's why them will get a second quarter them get a six months watcher let me see the first quarter look on this 42 for the first quarter and the cash that was coming from the first quarter was 33 million dollar they would have come here so now them says 65 million dollar for june that a both quarter combined if i look on the cash you realize our both quarter combined 
All right, that's for the six months cash flow second quarter ending June. This is a lie. For the second quarter, I don't know $65 million they make, dog. Come down at the second quarter, see there? Second quarter, $23 million they make. They must say $65 million, yes sir. But them call this cash flow for the second quarter. This is for the six months. However, yes or no, would that be cash flow for the first quarter? You saw them manipulate and mislead. So what you know? If it comes up, boom. And they make six, three, three, um, thirty million dollar in the first quarter. And then when they combine the six quarter, they make twenty three million dollar. It means that they make a loss. They burn money in the second quarter. They burn money in the second quarter. At a $7 million them lose out in the second quarter and they must spend $20 million a year so to acquire other things. You get me? Because them things are delicate and that. So, and them, them are pay back Mayberry loan, them are pay back interest, so them still have to take short term loan. These are the short term loan they're taking at the first quarter and the second quarter. Alright, so as a result of that now, the little cash for them that have burn up. Problem delay. Problem delay.